We are about to enter Ice Path. So guess what types of Pokemon we can find here. It's not just special Pokemon, there's ice on the ground. The moment you go in one direction, you slide until you hit something that stops you. And this can create some pretty difficult puzzles. I'm very used to this puzzle in Pokemon Crystal. The gold one I'm pretty sure is different, but... but what is probably the hardest ice puzzle in the game is coming up right after this. There's some other ones we have to mess around with how you walk a little bit. But they're not too hard with how it's, everything's been set up, even though there's one much bigger room. But how to solve everything, how to solve the thing in that room isn't all that hard. What we want to go to is go in there. Now here, you obviously can't go up. You can't go right if you go down you and end up here. So there's only one way to go, which is go left. If the Zubat would go away, please. I was explaining how the ice puzzle works. So you go left. Now you, I could go down, then could go further left. I could go up. But then I go right, and no, I, I didn't hit it, and then I can go here, I can go here, oh no. There's a bunch of places, location you can go to. But how do you actually end up there? In a, There are some difficult puzzles like this in a few different Pokemon games. And, and even non-Pokemon games have puzzles like this. What you have to realize is you have to sort of think in reverse. And particular Temtem even has this in one of their... Uh, I think the fifth dojo, which is like the gyms in Temtem. I think the fifth one of that, or sixth one. Whichever one uses Crystal Temtem. That one has a similar kind of puzzle. Um, but to, how do you end up there? Well, I, as you can tell, you stop on this square, and then I can go up or down from here. So, if you just look... To the bottom to the left of my character, you'll see another rock there. Just two down and two left from where the rock is that I'm standing against right now. That one is on the top of two rows that could take me into uh, the exit where I want to go. So if I approach that one from the top, I won't make it. However, if I approach it from the bottom, then I should be able to go to the right. And I can make it through. The thing is, how do I approach it from the bottom? I have to find a way. To approach that same rock from the bottom, just look at which rock we're referring to. To approach that, the rock that's currently in the top left of our screen from the bottom, we need to approach this rock that we're standing against from the right. How do we approach that one from the right? We're thinking this entire puzzle in reverse. To approach that other rock from the top. How do we approach that rock from the top? Well, let's just go here and see if we can find anything. Wait, if we go down here, we miss it. So we miss this one. We want to go one to the right of this. How do we do that? By hitting that rock that's there on the right. So what I'm going to do is see if I can figure it out from here. Yeah, this doesn't work. through here. Yes, I think this is it. Down, right, whoop, 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 whoop. Hey! You don't have to rethink through the entire puzzle. I just like to think that way. That's how my brain works. How my brain likes to work. You can just try it out a bunch of times and then figure it out by yourself. Uh, but I'd like to, at least the final few steps that I need to take, I'd like to figure out in my head. Then try it a couple of things just by moving around and then at one point I may just notice hey I'm in a spot that could could be could connect to the final few steps that I need to take um, so that is something that I did so that is how you solve it
But from a crystal, the puzzle is a bit different, so we'll need to resolve it then, I suppose. Is there a Pokemon I really want from this icy cave? Um, nope. Not in this game. I might actually have a Pokemon from here planned in crystal. Let's check, actually. I'm not going to spoil my entire team. Yeah, there is something I have planned for Crystal, not saying if it's part of the main team or not. But there is something in this cave that I want in Pokemon Crystal. And when we got through here, we can go up here. This is the way to go to the end. However, there's an item right there that I'd almost forgotten. I think the first time I played this, I'm not sure if I skipped it or not. Um, but this is actually a required item to progress. And this is a Swinub. We have seen a Swinub before in the 7th gym. Uh, we've seen Golbat and Zubat here because they're normal cave Pokemon. But the interesting thing about Swinub is that Swinub and two other Ice-type Pokemon, in this game at least, are exclusive to this cave. There's Delibird as well, which is sort of like a Santa Pokemon. And then there's Jinx. Jinx can actually be caught. So this is the first place, the first location in any Pokemon game where Jinx can be legally caught. It wasn't catchable in Gen 1. The only way to obtain a Jinx in Gen 1 was to go to Cerulean City with a Poliwhirl and do an in-game trade for a Jinx. I think it was called Lola. And then you had a Jinx. There were multiple Pokemon you could only get through that way, but that way you could never get, at least with only um, red, blue, or yellow, you couldn't get a Jinx without a nickname, or a Jinx that was just yours. Later with Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it's sure you could trade back one of the Jinxes, let's say, that I could catch in this area. Or the Gen 1 Jinx would go to over here, you'd breed the Jinx to get a new Jinx, and then trade it over. I guess, no, that doesn't work either, because then it'd have the original trainer of this game. Yeah, there isn't any way in Gen 1 to do that legally. Huh. Yeah, there's just no way to do it. So this is the first way, first time you can actually catch a Jinx and call it whatever you want. Alright, let's get that, uh, that item that I said was important. I can't get to it like this. How do I do it? Well, approach this rock from the top, but that's not gonna work, so approach this one from the bottom. This one's not that hard. There's not that many possibilities, so... Moving around a little bit is enough. We have HM07! Waterfall! We do need that at two points in the game, I think. None of my Pokemon can learn it. I don't intend for any of these to learn it. I have it. I caught a different Pokemon a long time ago that I intend to teach Waterfall to. Because there's only two specific locations, I believe, where you need Waterfall. Maybe three? There's Tojo Falls, where we've been before, and then one other location uh, that we'll get to after the Pokemon League. Um, but that's not something I'm going to teach any of these Pokemon. Whirlpool, though... I could teach it a Melanie, but I'm actually going to teach it the Scales. Remember, Scales was a starter, our Totodile. We had it on the team until shortly after Gym 4. We used Scales a lot in that gym, but then we dropped it from the main team to make place for Melanie the Lapras. Since then, we've also started Strength. It did have Surf already. It had Cut. We're even going to get rid of Ice Punch for its coverage move. Really, I'm not going to use it anymore. You have... It's a term in Pokemon called the HM Slave. I don't like to use that term because the word slave, and that has very negative connotations. Um, so I call it HM Friend because this Pokemon is still my friend, it is not my slave. Um, but my starter Pokemon is now my HM Friend. It has a bunch of HMs. Surf I have on Lapras, I don't need to take out scales to be able to use Surf, so that's useful. Quite a few Pokemon have Surf. If I want to use Whirlpool, I need skills. If I want to use Strength, I need skills. If I want to use Cut, I need skills. I could... Actually... I should teach Strength to Heracross. Because Heracross can learn Strength. And once we reach Blackthorn City... Wait, no. That doesn't work. Because once we reach Blackthorn City, there's the move deleter, and I can remove Strength from it. The first time we could remove um, HMs like that. But then I can't put... Or an attack back on it. Yeah, that's why I didn't put in a Heracross. Yeah, Surf, Strength, Cut, and Whirlpool. Scales is our HM friend. We won't need Whirlpool in this cave, 
But considering we just found an HM, I thought this was an appropriate time to show that I am teaching skills this HM. And we will be making use of it later. Hey, Jinx. How are you doing? Jinx is a pretty cool Pokemon. Doesn't have that high HP stat nor physical defense. So with physical moves, you can hit it. You can take it up pretty easily. But it is a fast Pokemon, and it has really good special um, special attack. I think I learned Psychic by level up. Not 100% sure. It does know. It does learn Ice Punch, similar to how Magmar learns Fire Punch and Electabuzz learns Thunder Punch by level up. And Ice Punch is already a very useful move. So if you want an Ice type, that's also a Psychic type. A very interesting combination. Both special moves as well, uh, special types, Ice and Psychic. So that can make Jinx a really cool member of your team. Once, I think, have I ever used Jinx on a playthrough team of a Pokemon game. That was the first time I played through Pokemon Ultra Sun. I had a Jinx um, in my main team in that game. Alright, this is a very interesting floor. Bunch of holes. And a bunch of strength boulders. Let's just drop down the hole. Um, yeah, you remember how I said there was a huge ice room? This is that huge ice room. So there's a, an item here, there's a max potion, that's cool to have. There's also a wild Pokemon here. It's another swine up. I don't really care about the swine up. I don't want to use the repel because I want to show if the deadly bird exists, although I don't really care too much about deadly bird. So, you might have seen that when I fell down, there was an item in the middle, and there's a, a little, I guess, island, if you want to call it that, in the middle of the ice that, that we want to get to. <clears throat> How do we do it? Well, that is exactly what these boulders are for, these strength boulders. There are these holes, and there's four holes, I believe, and four boulders. Or at least four boulders that are intended to go into holes, and each one a different one. They will; Those boulders will drop down to the floor below, and then... Um, and then you can make it all through. So let's start pushing. What I have done for the first so many times when I play through this is solve the puzzle. And there's actually a pretty interesting puzzle on how to do it. Um, I would push this one up, 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 up. Because you can't put the, this boulder is meant to go into this hole. But how do you do it? Well, you push it here and then go all the way around and then push it again. The thing is, and I learned this for um, a high botsky, by the way. What I learned through Crystal Bingos in the speedrun, Pokemon Gen 2 speedruns probably use as well. You only need this one. You only need to put this boulder in the right place. Um, to be able to make it. Let's see how that one goes in, I don't remember. I uh, think through... Yeah, through here. You only need this, uh, this boulder into the hole to actually make it. The other ones create a path, uh, I'll, sh I'll show that off in a second, that makes it really easy in that big floor below to make it to where we need it to be, uh, so we can get to that middle island, but you actually only need this boulder. Was it this boulder? Oops, no, never mind, I said the wrong thing, I think it's only the top boulder then. Yeah, because yeah, cause I remember you having to push both of them. Maybe in Crystal it looks different then? Oh, no, wait, no, I know how it, I know how it is. Was it, because... No, I don't remember the exact details, but I'm pretty sure that in the Crystal bingos that I've done, I've never needed to do that entire lap around, and you need to do that to be able to get this boulder in there. And I'm pretty sure I did need to push the other boulder. Or maybe we push that boulder that we just put in the hole. But then we fall in this first hole. And then go down. No, that's not it either? I'm so confused. It, uh, maybe maybe the puzzle is slightly different in gold than in crystal? I want to sound really smart and just explain it here. It's the... Okay, fine, I'll just push this one, I'll do the proposal normally, and I'll figure it out in a second. Because this is the final one you need. Uh, 
I'm confused. There has to be a way. Maybe the puzzle is a bit different because I don't. Maybe I don't think these rocks are in this exact position in the crystal. Anyway, I'll just use a super repel here actually, so I can just show off the puzzle. That's a little frustrating for me. I was hoping that I know it's possible, but I know only that it's possible in crystal. So maybe the. So there's some areas that do look slightly different. I believe the big ice puzzle from earlier as well looked a bit different, so. I have to push all the rocks on. Yeah, that is the idea. I'm going to do that, but I know from in Pokemon Crystal, you only need to actually push one of them. And I was trying to figure out which specific one that was and show it off here, but considering this isn't Pokemon Crystal, Maybe that doesn't apply here, because the holes and rocks are in a slightly different place. So maybe once all of them have fallen down, I can figure it out. Because you don't even need to go to the right side. I'm almost 100% certain you don't need to go to the right side. So that one goes down. And then push this one. Now all four of the boulders are in the holes. Yeah, I think you do need to push this top one and then fall on the second hole and then go up. Because from here you can't do it. However, if you start here, remember, so this is just from the stairs from the where the strength puzzle is. Left, down, left, up, and you've made it. I know it's possible. So I'm gonna actually go into that second hole again. Let's use another super repel. Cause I wanna just wanna figure this one out for myself. Cause if I fall into this hole, I I fall here and I can just go up, yeah. But then for this for gold at least, you'd need to do that entire lap. There's no way to push it push it into the hole otherwise. Huh. Yeah, you only need to do this and you can skip the other puzzles. I'm pretty sure. I'm not gonna re reset my save to show that off, but I'm pretty sure if you do that lap, at least in gold then, if you do that lap and just only push that first one into the hole, then that's all you need to do. Here's a Rock Smash Rock. And considering Warband and us Rock Smash, we can... Well, we can smash the rock. Get a Never Melt Ice, which is one of the held items that boosts the power of a certain type of move. And you can probably guess that the Never Melt Ice is for ice type moves. So we currently don't have any ice type moves on our team, so we're not going to use it. Uh, but if you don't have Rock Smash, you can just walk around. You don't actually need to break it. Uh, this is a pretty interesting place. There's a hidden item here, there's stairs here, and there's a TM. If you go down exactly from where these stairs are, you hit rocks, you hit this. Actually, the TM isn't... the hidden item isn't here. There might be elsewhere in the cave. I don't fully remember everything from this cave. 44, I believe, is uh, rest. Yeah, the TM for rest is here, so if you want to use that in your team, this is where to go. Now, the thing is, if you jump down here, you can't get to those stairs. But you can see that the stairs are the, th the third and fourth square from the left. If you count from this big wall of rocks that, are, that is on my left currently, I'm on the first column. You want to be in column three or column four. And as you can see here, if remember, I was in column one. Three to the right of us is where those stairs are. So if we just go right here, then this should take us to the next area. Although, I guess, if we would have just come from here, I'm just looking at it now, I could have just done this. Go back up, go left. That would have also been a possibility. Alright. Repel can wear off on the ice. We can't even get encounters on the ice. Well, if I go up, left, down, left here, I go to the next area, but I actually want to grab an item that's somewhere here. An iron. Uh, 
la 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 Final floor, somewhere here there's a hidden item, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Yes, I remember there was at least an item here. The peep, yep. And then we just go around and exit the cave on this side. Welcome to Blackthorn City. A real hot shot trainer, thank you. Blackthorn City, a quiet mountain retreat. It's a, it is a very nice place. I like this. Dragonair's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have a Dragonair female? No. But if you think back to quite a few episodes of this ago, quite a few streams ago, that I spent quite a lot of money in the game quarter in Goldenrod City to buy a specific Pokemon and I needed it to be female? I got a level 10 female Dratini there. And this is what it was for. Now that we've gone through the cave and we used strength, I'm gonna put um, Croconos of Scales back in the box. I'm actually gonna take out Dratini. And I'm going to give um, the EXP share that we got from handing the red scale from Red Gyarados to Mr. Digimon. Uh, he gave us the EXP share. We've never actually used it since, and this seems like a good place to use it. So we can just keep using our standard team while training up uh, Dratini as well. So deposit. Scales, thanks for your help. And then withdraw. Noodle! And then I'm going into the PC again, because that's where I get my EXP share. Your noodle evolved into Danger Noodle. <laughs> I don't expect to use Noodle, but just in case I decide to use Noodle, let's teach it Surf. Because I'm pretty sure Noodle can learn Surf. There we go. Hello? Ultra Balls, I want a bunch of Ultra Balls. Let's get at least 20. Do you have full heals? Yes, you also have full heals. I want a bunch of those. Get 20 of those. I like that. Max Repels. I like to stick with my Supers. I guess we have enough, so Max Repels. 10 of them. Get some X items. Don't care. Also, the move Deleter was introduced in this game. It allows you to get rid of HM moves. They live in here. Uh, I'm not going to make use of them here. However, I will be making use of this move Deleter later on. Later on in the game, there's a specific TM that, will, that I want to have for one of my main team members. And we need to get rid of a different move through the move Deleter to be able to teach that move. But we'll get to that when we get to that. It's quite a long time from then. Now that we're here in Blackthorn City, there's a few different things we can do. On a Saturday, I think it is, one of the weak siblings is in this city. We can explore south of here. There's a big route. Route 45, this is. Uh, some interesting Pokemon here. Uh, Skarmory appears here, although not in gold, because it's exclusive to silver crystal. It appears here as well. This is a cave that we've, ha that we've seen before, but just not this portion of it. We'll explore that later as well. I have decided to go for the gym first. Now this gym is a pretty tough one. Especially the gym leader, because it is hard to find moves. Especially in early game, that are super effective against this gym. Because this is the Dragon-type Pokemon gym. And dragons are only weak to ice, 
and dragon moves. Well, to get dragon moves, you probably need a dragon. And dragon rage doesn't deal super effective damage. For ice moves, yeah, you generally want an ice type. I had ice punch on Krokona. Um, not anymore. Actually, I should swap that out in the overlay. And I'll do that in a second. Um, Lapras does learn ice beam. However, that's in a few levels time. And I was thinking I actually wanted to go for the challenge of this gym. And the challenge being I do it without ice beam. So let's give that a try. But before we do, we need to turn off Krokona. And put a Dratini in there. We enter. 